Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I thought I'd try something different and give you guys a new tutorial. I haven't made a tutorial in like three years, so and those ones are really crappy, so we're gonna make a new one today. I've been practicing doing some building and stuff, so let's get into it. Today we are gonna be making a clock tower. Uh, this is just something that randomly came to me and I was like, yeah, screw it, let's try it out. Um, so I'm gonna be working this out as I go, unlike most people do. So let's start off with some dimensions. Um, so that's five blocks, six blocks, seven blocks. And then, let's see, maybe we'll do one like that and one like this. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a corner, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a corner, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I guess that could be like the ground formations um, for all the blocks. And let's start building this thing out. So I'm going to go with a medieval kind of theme. So let's start that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. Why is that not doing? And then do the same for all of these. There we go. So that's pretty nice. And we guess we could build up this bottom part with some stone bricks. We'll build up this base around here with some stone bricks. So that is a seven by seven, I believe. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. I want to use some dead brain coral block, which is looks quite like cobblestone in a way. So we can use some of this. Let's try doing one, two, three, four, five, and then going in five and around, and we fill up all of this. Oh, let's try let's try doing the cobblestone on the sides, and we can do that on these sides as well. And we'll repeat the same on all of these other sides. Alright, there we go. Um, once we've done that, let's find some smooth stone. So, I think before we get into any major details, let's just put the smooth stone around here. Before we get into any major details, we are going to build up the basic frame of this build. So, once we've got that smooth stone down, go all the way up to here. It's one, two, three, four, five. And then this can go around like that. Okay, and now we can do the same as what we did on the bottom one. Alright, there we go. And I think instead of just doing normal stone bricks down here, try doing out try out some stairs like this. I know I said I wasn't gonna do much detail, but I thought it'd just be a good idea to chuck these down earlier on. And then let's extend these pillars by one. So we can now put some more stone bricks down. Let's put these stone stairs along here. It just otherwise there's nothing there's nothing at the bottom. This will make it actually equal. This will make it actually equal. So we'll put all the way around here. Yep, wrap that all the way around. Okay, perfect. Yep, I think that's alright. Um then at the bottom we will put some of these stairs out. And then at the top we do the same. Now, we've got that basic frame out now. I think we should have some form of doorway. So let's put the doorway around here and we can substitute these for some stone brick blocks. And then we need some different types of stairs. So let's try some polished granite. I think that'll work quite well. Um, let's also 
do something, some sort of design like this with some slabs down the sides. Maybe not. That doesn't really look right. Let's try this. It's that. And then that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then we can probably bring some stone walls or maybe... Let's do mud brick wall. Would it look alright like this? Yeah, I think so. It just looks cleaner, I guess. And then that could probably connect up to here. Yeah, okay, and then we can probably do something like that. Yeah, that works. Alright. I'm wondering if we could substitute this for a cobblestone stair. Um... I don't know. Well, what if we did all of these? All of these main ones here. Yeah, I guess that could work. We can come back to it later. We'll come back to that later. Um... Now, for this upper level, I think by taking out these and putting some bars in place, some iron bars, and put these along here. Let's do the same along here. Okay, cool. Now, along here, Let's do the same thing along all these bottom ones. Okay, cool. Well, would it work if we put a couple of things here? Yeah, I think that works. Cool. So that fits in quite nicely, I'd say. Let's try doing this. And then cobblestone in general. Yeah, let's try this. So I'm thinking, if we do something like this, then we get some slabs to connect these up. I don't know why I have two of these. Use slabs to connect it up. It's the wrong colour though. We could probably try the mud again. I guess that works. I understand that a bit. But, um, we could do this and fit it in better. Oh, yeah, I've got an idea. And then we get a mud brick wall. Yeah, I guess that works. And then we can do that down here too. Perfect. I think that fits in with the colours nicely. Okay, so let's repeat that on all the other sides. Except with this. Maybe. Maybe with these. What you do is you add some stairs down here. And then we could do it like that. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, well, first of all, you got to switch out all these with blocks, obviously. Okay. Wait, this is up here. It's actually another block up. And we just repeat what we did on the front side on all the other sides. Anyways, I've gone around and done all those, so that's good. And I think a good colour to bring in with those mudstone, that mudstone of bricks. So let's actually, let's just do an inventory clear 
and then get some bricks. So now what you're going to want to do is take this part here, this other half, and paste it up again. We are like that, and put stairs like here, and then we go up like this, or what we could do is copy and paste this side up here. I think that'll work better. So imagining these stairs here are uh, these stairs here. Um, we can copy that up. So, from these stairs here, it is a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, and we get, got those four pillars up there. And then on top of this, we will put the whole clock area and then a roof on top of that, I feel. So, starting off, let's get ourselves some of these and put these around. And then, so, we will copy this side onto that side and all the other sides. So, let's do that. Let's, firstly, actually, let's just put these blocks in the corners. Okay, this is the wrong block. Let's replace all of these smooth stone blocks with this. And then add more stone bricks on top of those. Now we can grab ourselves some cobblestone and go all the way up like this and leave one for the top. Alrighty, and now you want your coral block again and begin filling this in and we all put the windows in a sec. Oh, you can put them in now actually, let's do that. So it's five blocks up of all of these, so five by five with two gaps in the middle. So, like this. So we're quite literally just copying the same thing from below, not including the door way or the entrance thing. Then we can put our smooth stone in. Just the smooth stone. The question is, does the smooth stone go over the cobblestone? That doesn't really matter, you can't see it. I think it does though. So we want to replace these. So we want to replace these metal bits out. Do so now. And then finally on top, I think we should put another layer of stone bricks. There we go. Oh yeah, and also the bars, that should be the last, oh no, we gotta do the walls as well. So do the bars, and then we'll do, copy these walls on this side. So you see these here, we will copy up here. And also, these, I don't think we'll copy those. Okay. So, we'll cut to once I've finished that. Alright, so I've gone and done all that now. I just remembered we do need to add the stone brick blocks in the corners here. So let me do that without messing it up. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's. Oh, yeah, of course, we've got to put these here getting things and then it gets started on this top area so I'm gonna start putting some slabs along the edges of this there 
There we go. And uh, well, we will put some stone brick, not stone brick, sorry, just normal brick blocks here. And then some stairs upside down, by the way. And then some upside down stairs on the outside. And we can also, I guess, chuck some slabs going from each of the upside down stairs to another. Oh, I forgot to put some here. Alright, there we go. So now we have to start with something else. So we need a new block. I'm thinking a lightish block for the actual clock face. So it's going to be a four sided clock. You can probably see it from the thumbnail. But um, we need to find something. So I want it to be more medieval looking. So obviously it's not going to be like a pure white quartz, I don't think. But we need something a little more textured, like mushroom stem. Let's take this out just as an example. Um, I actually have a bunch of gradients down somewhere where all this ancient city is. <laughs> Don't question why else is here, by the way. Um, okay, cool. So, oh, calcite. That would be interesting. Maybe we'll, we'll use this. Maybe we'll, we'll use this. Yeah, this is why I built this, by the way. <laughs> um, let's go back over here. Past the burnt down house and the ocean thingy. And we can use this for the clock face, I feel. So, now, we have an option. I think what I might do is, are there like, what kind of pillars do we have? I'm going to go through and find a nice block. <clears throat> a nice block for the outside of this. We could use, I was originally thinking to use polished granite, so let's just have a look actually places yeah that could work or we could just stick with a brick let's just place it down first oh my gosh this, is this gonna load so let's go one two three four five six seven eight um let's just see how far along this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nine ten eleven and then across two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then up again. So the clock face looks something like this. Wait a second. No, we need to move it down one because those stairs count as one block. So like that. Yep. So ten extra blocks up, but eleven in total. But eleven in total, including the stairs. Okay. Yep, I think that works. We'll probably switch these out for stairs too, so. Oh wait, I just realized we've got a... Uh, <coughs> we've got a... Um, do these up. Yep, so let's just do all these pillars up first before I do anything else. And we can also, oh, we'll just put the stairs on now, I think. So we'll wrap stairs all the way around this thing, but not on the corners. There we go. So it should look something like this now. I'm starting to like the look of this, actually. Um, okay. 
Now what we need to do is put in the calcite. Oops, I didn't put up a pillar here. <laughs> Don't mind that. Okay, so I think firstly what we should do is sl slab up all of these blocks here. Then we can put in all the good old calcite. I have to say, I love the texture of calcite. It's so useful for building. I really love it. So we'll put calcite all the way up like this. Alright, so I've put all those blocks in. I think the texture's a little bit too much. But honestly, I think it's alright. It should be fine. If you guys want to change the block with the face of the clock, um, feel free to do so. You could use quartz or snow or anything really white. Um, you could even use terracotta or concrete powder, or concrete in general. It's up to you, really. Um, but I'm just going to use this for now. Anyways, let's begin to put the clock face in. So, to be frank with you guys, I haven't exactly worked out how I'm going to do this yet. So, let's do that now. So, I think for the numbers, we need buttons. So, we'll do some polish, polished blackstone buttons, I guess. And we need all these buttons, and we need these buttons to go up here. Like so... And we could place them around like this. Like that. Wait a second. No, this needs to go up here. And then these can go around like this. Oops. Okay. I guess that could work. Um, and then we need some nether brick slabs. I could use stairs and some of this, stairs, oh, sorry, fences I said, I mean say so, um, we could use fences, but I'll show you what I mean in this, I'll show you what I mean in a sec, let's put a center block, um, let's set it to an easy time, like 3 o'clock, Yeah, so that doesn't really work like that. So I was originally thinking I could do something like this kind of style with fences underneath, but I realized there won't be enough room for that. So let's try doing the fence strategy. Okay. Or what we could do is just simply add fences. That might work better. Okay. And let's put a button on here. And then let's put a button on there. So that could work. Or we could just simply break that. Yeah. That'll probably just work just being simple to be honest. Got all the numbers done. Let's try and add some details to the edges of the clock. So maybe we could do like that something or we could find a different type of stair like polished andesite which I've been wanting to use no it's too defined it's way too defined um let's see all the different other, all the other different stairs we've got jungle stairs got copper stairs or we, we need to use waxed ones otherwise they age waxed exposed oh we could even um mud even do mud mud stairs even do mud stairs. Okay, let's try all these out differently. So that there's that one. Doesn't really work. There's these. Yeah, I could see it. Uh, I've got these. I quite like that one actually. If there was slightly less green, I'll probably do that. And then finally we've got the mud. 
alright, but it's too similar to the ones below. So I think we'll use these waxed exposed cut copper stairs. So let's do this. Oh, I've got an idea. We could get sea lanterns. And in here, right, put them all in the corners. So when we have these over, it lights up. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's do that. So all of these corners here, put sea lanterns. So put those back. Yep, okay. So now it will light up a bit more at night. You can add some torches at the end, as some finishing touches. Now let's put all these stairs back in. So on the top and on the bottom, that's just three stairs per 12 steps. 12 stairs per face and 48 stairs in total. Could have even used the frog light thingies, but it's fine. Oh, hold on a second. I have an idea. What if we change the background of this to that? <laughs> no, 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 that doesn't work. No, 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 that doesn't work. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. I think that works quite well. Though. Let's get a fence. Uh, we can use acacia. And then we'll get a wall. We can use granite. And let's do this up the side. Oops. How's that look? Or do we want jungle fence? That's the other one I'm thinking. Now we can begin to focus on the roof. So I think to contrast all of this, we need some. Uh, let's just look at the uh, stairs. Or we could use like black stone or something. Or deep slate. Deep slate could look better. I was originally going to do dark oak, but we could do deep slate. I think deep slate might look a bit cooler. I'm not sure. Let's see. I do love the deep texture on deep slate. Let's just put them both down together see the difference. I honestly don't know, I like them both. I think maybe we'll do the wood, just because it looks more... Um, it just works out with the rest of the build, I guess. But, like I said earlier guys, you guys use your own blocks. Because, I mean, this is after all creative mode, so. There's nothing holding you back from doing that, that's for sure. Now, let's put these around like this. And then let's put five blocks along here. Five blocks along here. And then five along here. Five along there. And five along here. And then we can put stairs along these. Bear with me guys, this will look decent, I hope. Put stairs all along the corner. And then on the other side here, we can put far <coughs> five there. In fact, we may, as, we may even put three of those, or five. Let's try that. And then three on top. Let's try this. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five behind. One, two, three, four, five on top. And one, two, three. And in fact, we could even get away with doing three here and no that's too high let's just do that oh wait I oh, shoot I forgot to do these I forgot to do these um let's 
sorry, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Let's just do five along there. Okay, cool. So five in the middle. So you've got five full blocks in the middle here. Another five stairs along here. We'll do that along all these different sides. And then we can put stairs here, just like below. And if we can continue repeating this pattern, should get a decent looking kind of um, roof. Um, also put these stairs up here too. One, two, three. Uh, we don't need five. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry if this is difficult to like go along, but I'll try to make it as easily understandable as possible. I just remember I am working this out at the same time as recording this. But let's put a ring of um, dark oak planks along the inside there, and then we can build up like this. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one on top. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one on top. One, two, three, one, two, three, and guess what? One on top. Now we can put the, these stairs in here. Like that. And then stair, and then blocks up there. And then stairs on top. I think maybe we'll see. And then we'll put a ring of blocks in the side here. And another ring on top. And then we can do a cross. And then we can do a cross pattern, build that up by three. Oh no, let's just build it up by two and put one in the middle. Oh, that's the wrong stair. And then put stairs on each of these sides and then build up by another two. Or oh, three, let's do. And you'll have something looking a bit like this. Um, can we put blocks here, maybe? Let's try and put, let's put blocks here, on each of these ones here. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay. So, I quite like that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I quite like that. Um, let's put slabs on top here. It'll probably look a bit better. Yep, there we go. And then let's get a bar. And we can. Oh, after getting a dark oak fence. Oops, I did that. We can put maybe one fence and then bars, bars, thingy like this. And then bars. One. What does two look like? Let's do two. Like that. I quite like the look of that. I don't know about you guys, but I quite like the look of that. Let's get that back. Blackstone button. Polished blackstone button. Oh my god, I keep throwing it out. Keep throwing it out of my inventory. Okay, there we go. Oh, not quartz, this block. There we 
there we go and there we have it that's that area done I quite like how this is looking to be honest um, let's get ourselves some torches and maybe even some lanterns and we can hang the lanterns oh oh yeah I like that okay Could even get chains um, if you guys want to extend that by chain, if you guys want to add like a chain there or something, you could do that, I guess. Um, where else can we put these here? No. Alright, so I've gone ahead and added some torches around the place. I hope I haven't done too many, I might have, but I think it's alright. <coughs> I think it's alright. Now, what we can do is we can do slash time set um, midnight. And boom, that looks pretty nice. I think. Still see the sea lanterns here. I wish we had like some areas to light up in here. If even if we were to replace that center part with sea lanterns, but that doesn't really work. Um, or hold on. that I don't know what do you guys think you add it I guess you guys add it if you want I guess um but I think we are all right how we are I won't add an interior um, just because this video is already long enough however what I will do is we will get some spruce and clean up this inside bit in here. But we can actually add this floor in here like this. Um, Alright, I've added just uh, not an interior, but like this. <laughs> not an interior at all. Um, but that pretty much wraps up today's video um if you did enjoy um be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy please consider liking and subscribing i'm not going to force you um but it helps the channel out more than you would expect so yeah um let's have a look at the final build there we go very nice Cool. And yeah, I'll see you guys all soon in another video. Goodbye.